Yes, hello students. So in our earlier session, we have seen that how we can create a network topology and in that how we can create a stable traffic. So within this session, we are going to learn that how we can perform the DOS attack. So basically the DOS attack stands for denial of service attack. That means whatever the services are there, that is not going to be provided to the user. So that type of attack we are going to try to perform. So for that, let's just open the terminal over here. Within the terminal, we will just create a new file. So for that, we will use gadget edit, let's say dos.tcl. So as uh, it is little bit same as whatever we have done in our earlier file. So I will just write the same code over here, which we have just write for creating the TRESS file and the NAM file. So I will just change the name of the TRESS file. Instead of stable, we will just make it as a DOS.TR. And uh, for NAM file, we will just make it as a DOS.NAM. And yes, so all other stuffs are proper. Uh, so no need to change anything else. You can see over here, instead of stable.nam, we can just call the dos.nam. Right. So we have just made uh, the appropriate changes. First of all, we have mentioned the variable ls uh, for, uh, uh, for the simulator. Right. So throughout the simulation, we are going to utilize the ns variable. So for accessing the variable, we reuse the dollar sign. After that, we have write the code for creating the trace file. And for creating the trace file, we have given the write mode to that file. So whatever the analysis will be there, whatever the things are going to be happen in the network, everything is going to be traced and that is going to be written in the dos.tr file. Similarly, we have created the NAM file for the animation using set NAM file open dos.nam and we have given the write code into this as well. And then we have just created the finish procedure, one finish method in which we are just flushing out all the things which we have analyzed, stressed and that we are writing in the trace file and the NAM file. And then we are just going to execute our NAM file. So these things we have seen uh, that in our earlier session as well. So now I will showcase you the scenario that how we can perform the attack. So for that we require the topology. So we are going to create the nodes over here. So in the last time we have just created the two nodes. So over here we are going to create little bit uh, a, li a little bit uh, the larger amount of the nodes. Let's say we will create the five nodes. The first node is let's say server. So we will just set let's say that dollar ns. This is the node, right? Similarly, I will just copy this code and paste it five times, and I will just change the name of these things. Let's say server one and server two. I am having, I am having client one, and let's say client 2 and also I am having one attacker. So attacker will be the node from where we are going to try to perform the DOS attack. So, so far we have just created five nodes that server 1, server 2, client 1, client 2 and attacker. After creating the nodes, now our next task is to create the connection. So we will just make the connection between this node. So for making the connection, we will use $NS. We are going to use duplex link over here. So we will mention duplex link. First connection we will make between client 1 and server 1. And for that, the speed of this link will be 12 MB, 100 MS delay. And the queue type we are going to use that will be the drop tail. Similarly, we are going to, I am just going to copy this link, uh, this code and I will paste this. And instead of client 1 and server 1, I will just make it as client 2 and server 1. All other stuff will remain same over here. 
Similarly, I will just paste it and instead of client, I will just make attacker. So attacker will be also engaged with our server 1. And then let me just add on. Server 1 will be connected with the server 2. So over here server 1 dollar server 2. 2 instead of 12 MB, let's say I am having 6 MB instead of 100, uh, 100 MS uh, 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 delay, we are going to keep at 200 MS delay and the drop tail, right? And also I am going to mention the queue limit between server 1 and server 2. So for mentioning the queue limit, that means at a one time, how many packets we can have within the queue. So that we can set using the queue limit. Okay, so between server 1 and server 2 link, we want the queue limit of 20 packets. Okay, so this connections we have made. So now it is turn to create the agents and to attach the agents. So for creating the agent, we know we use set. Let's say we are going to create UDP traffic. So UDP. In that we will just use new agent that is UDP and this is we are going to attach with let's say attach agent with our client 1 which we are going to attach UDP 1. The same code I will just repeat. So this agent we have created for the client 1. Similarly, we will use the second UDP and that agent we will attach to the client number 2. And same code we will do, we will create the UDP agent 3 and that we are going to attach with our attacker because attacker is the one who is also going to uh, pass uh, or generate the traffic. Right, so we have two clients who are going to generate the normal traffic and there is one attacker who is going to generate the larger amount of the traffic. So for those three, we have just created three different agents. For client one, we have set UDP one. For client two, we have set UDP two. And for attacker, we have set UDP three. Now, as we have just set three agents for the sender side, we will just set the agent for the receiver also. That is the null agent. And our receiver will be our server, right? So, let's say new agent and that will be null. And that we are going to attach $ns, attach agent $server2 $null. Right. So, four agents we have created and now what we are going to do, we are just going to make the connections. Right. So, for that what we need to do, let's say dollar $ns, we are going to connect dollar $UDP1 and dollar $null. Right. Then similarly, we can just copy this because sender and the receiver we have just set. Similarly, we have two other centers as well, UDP2 agent and UDP3 agent. So, we will just make the connection between sender and the receiver, right? So, now we have just created the agents and make the connection between the agents. So, now our task is to just generate the traffic. So, we are just going to generate the traffic. So, for generating the traffic, as we have created the UDP connection, we will create the CBR traffic. So, let's say the first traffic I am creating that is CBR1. For that, I will just mention new application. This is the traffic type of application that is CBR. Right? Also, we are going to attach it. So, let's say CBR1. We are going to attach this with the agent. That is $UDP1. 
okay and also we can set some of the other properties for the cbr traffic let's say same as we have set in our earlier session for the T uh, ftp we will set it for the cbr also so cbr1 we can set the packet size let's say that is 7000 we can also set cbr1 we can also set the rate let's say the rate we are setting that is 0 0.4 mb we can also set let's say cb r1 set random so let's say that is false that randomly we will we want to assign the traffic or not and cbr1 let's say set interval that how much how many inter after how much interval time period we want to generate the traffic so that interval we can set let's say after 0 0.08 seconds Right. So that we have set. Similarly, this is one traffic we have uh, generated. I will copy the code. I will paste the code. Instead of CBR1, I will just mention CBR2. CBR2, I will attach with UDP2. And over here, everywhere, we will just mention CBR2, 2 and 2. And the packet size for second one, let's just change it to 4000. We can see uh, do the rate as 0.6 and after 0.5 we can set the packets. Right? Similarly, we can just do it for the third one that is CBR3 that we can attach with our UDP3. Right? UDP3 is our attacker. So over here we will just make the changes. And we will make the changes in the packets as it is the attacker side. So our packet size will be also high. Right. So you can see over here 2, uh, 24,000 packets after 0.2 seconds. Right. After very small amount of time we are going to generate the packets randomly. Okay. Once we have just connected or created the traffic. Now we are requested to just start the traffic, right? So for starting the traffic, we just need to mention $NS at 0 0.1, let's say $CBR1 start, okay? I will just copy this, I will just paste this because at 0.1, I will also set, uh, start CBR2. Then, let's say after some time period, let's say at 0 0.5, we will start our CBR3. Right? So, once it is started, now we will, let's consider at 1.5, I am going to just stop my CBR1. So, I will just stop it. After stopping CBR1, let's say I am stopping the traffic from CBR2 at 2.0 seconds. And lastly, at 2.5 seconds, we will stop CBR3 as well. Right, so everything we have just stopped. Now, we will call our finish method. So, for calling it, we will just write NS at let's say 3.0 seconds we are going to call the finish method so everything is going to be written in the trace file and the NAM file and for running this simulation we will just mention NS run so our file is ready we will just save this file we will close this and in this terminal we will just mention NS POS dot TCL and we will just try to run it so there are some of the problems let's just see what is the problem we are facing let's just open dos.tcl so 
this is the thing global ns stress file name file line 30 we are having the problem dollar ns duplex okay duplex link we need to write instead of that we have write line right so l i n k link we need to mention duplex link save this try to just perform it at 50 we have just okay connect spelling is mistake let's just open it at the 50 connect 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 it so connect spelling mistake was there so we have solved that you can save this let's check is there any other error no now it is working properly fine so you can see it is successfully done. So now let's just check uh, whether the address file and the name file is generated or not. So you can see dos.nam and dos.dress file is generated. We can open the dos.tr file and in this you can see the packets are added to the queue, removed from the queue, right? The CBR traffic is generated and you can see over here some of the packets in the initially were uh, received and after that it has started dropping right so you can just do control f and in that you can mention d so you can see 195 packets are dropped so very less amount of packets have received so we have uh, successfully able to perform the dos attack and we are successfully able to drop the packet from uh, fr uh, at the receiver side so server Two is not able to receive some of the packets and there are so many packets which are there in the queue right so this is how we can be generate we can be able to generate uh, the scenario for uh, the DOS attack so for that we have just created some of the traffic between the network topology and using the scenario we can be able to perform the basic DOS attack and that we can analyze with the help of the dos.tr file and dos.nam file. So that's it from this session. Thank you.